Welcome to episode 10 of the Gamer Jits Duo podcast. I am one of your hosts, TBCAC, but you can call me Teddy. I have with me Eric, otherwise known as Legend PVM. Yes, Legend PVM. I need to come up with, like, titles for us. I really, really do. That would be um, I, dude, I actually have a title for you and, and him. for Nate. <laughs> wow, those are great titles. I have a yeah. title for you and for Nate, but I don't have one for me. I was like, if Nate ever, you know what? No, I'm going to save it for if Nate ever guest stars. Well, first yeah. of all, let's just address what's happening Nate Nate. on the actual screen. This is episode 10, and I thought I'd do something special. You have a little background footage of me going around stabbing people in the beautiful Caribbeans. Yeah, it's, 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 oh, nope, nope, it's right yeah. there. <laughs> and me and Eric are right here. Yeah. I, I really like how this looks. <laughs> like I'm saying Yeah, it's really this. cool. But, um... Yeah, so I, I decided to just hop on just for the footage, so I just went on and captured everything in Kingston. So some of this is going to be me chasing sea shanties and all that. <laughs> it's just background footage. Um, this is the third week in a stinking row without Nate, who yeah. has said that he would like to be on. Like, after he True. had said he'd like to be on, this is about the third week of... Of him, it, dude, I got hopeful because this week he said he was yeah, like, he my was schedule like, is yeah, opening up. My schedule's open. Yeah, and I was like, dude, just let us know and you'll be on. He's like, my schedule's opening up. Know. I might be able to be on more than one of them. And then he's just not even on this week, so that's cool. He got The Last of Us, for people that don't know. He got The Last of Us Remastered. We've been telling him to get that game forever and to play it, and he got it. He hasn't played it yet. I don't know if he ever will play it. But he has it, so that's progress. At least that's something, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure he's played it a little bit. A little I bit. have not <laughs> a little bit, like little little Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, dude. Little. There was a picture on Twitter. That, I I think I showed you this, but it was like nothing will ever beat Ron Swanson when they figured when they found when he found out that they got little Sebastian, <laughs> and yeah. this is a picture of him just like. You got Lil Sebastian. <laughs> Dude, Ron's reactions when he's like genuine, it's so good. Is not Star no, not genuine, genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Is Star Wars the one with the little wizard boy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how he's like, it's a full like five seconds when they're just all like uh, sitting there looking at each other yeah. and then he says it. <laughs> yeah, they were talking about, they were talking about episode seven. Of yeah, Star Wars because so cool. this is their Dude, future. That didn't even trippy. register to me when I first saw it, but yeah, then you know, told right? me, and I was like, "Oh yeah, they did talk about Episode Seven. Yeah. I, well, I I heard them say Episode that was when Star Wars Episode Seven came out, but it didn't click to me that that was weird. And then I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it is really weird." Also, I want to po point something out. You know how in Unity, you know, one of the big things was that they have fully functioning uh, indoor sections and whatnot. Yeah. Um. You can't go in that window right there. You just went up. <laughs> but I just yeah. wanted to say that after playing U or AC4, like one of the biggest draws for Unity, which I was like, you got to give them props. It's pretty uh, impressive. Mm -hmm. You can do that in a lot of buildings in 4. Not every building without a doubt, yeah. but there are a lot of buildings that you can go in. Like More so than, say, Revelations. <laughs> or 3. 3, or you can yes. go in any whatsoever. You like you could go through them, but that's it. You can go in them. You can go through them. Like it was basically like the haystacks or stuff like that, where you can run through stuff. Oh, so also, guys, PlayStation Network was just down. Yeah, it's and now just it's back. got down. It's just now it's letting, back. Yeah, I heard a ding, and I went to check Facebook, and it was Ryan. So uh, he said, "PSN is back." So all right, after this, we can hopefully we could get a vault done. It's ten thirty. Well, yeah. Well, it'll be 11.30 by that time, or close to it. Yeah, mm. and if we have a poop team. Eh. No, we could, we, we could probably get we one. We can though. get it, though. And this podcast probably, just as a warning, it's probably not going to be an hour. It'll probably be around 45 minutes. Because there was some stuff, but there wasn't tons of stuff that happened. Right. Um. Let's see. Well, technically, we just came from watching the Super Bowl. Yeah, so that was I watched ridiculous. the last uh, quarter or half. Did sorry. you watch any of it other than that? Uh, I, I came in other times. I came in at the beginning. I came in at the halftime. I came. I watched the whole like second half. Mm. So Okay. Well, most of the time, the fourth quarter Personally, is all that matters. Personally, the most important part 
of watching a, a football game is the second half. I don't know. Most of the time, the fourth quarter is all that matters. So right. But um, a lot of times Especially they just the, stop the, them in the first quarter and they never come yeah. back. So but. yeah, if you if you get like three drive, if you do three drives really well and you get a touchdown on every one of them, you're going to be way ahead. Yeah, and, and then you can like, pretty much the call the game. Doesn't there, as ma- doesn't doesn't matter as much. Yeah, but most of the time it uh, it's definitely the fourth quarter. It wasn't like yeah. that in this game. This game, it was the fourth quarter. It was close. And <laughs> holy crap! Freaking Seahawks should have ran Dude, the ball. I'm serious. That was the. That was one of the best Super Bowls I've ever seen. It yeah. was so ridiculous. Cause like, dude, at the third quarter, I don't know why, but at the third that the third quarter, my dad kept saying, "Oh man, it's over. It's over. The the, the Seahawks have won. It's over." And he mm. was he was almost <laughs> he was almost correct. But he kept saying that, so I was like, oh, "I mean," and I mean, the Seahawks were doing a decent amount better than. Uh, Right. And the Patriots. So the then, oh my gosh! But in the fourth quarter, the Patriots. Oh, what was it? The 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 Seahawks were up like I think twenty eight to something. I don't know. The Seahawks were up, and the Patriots got. Uh, the Patriots scored to make it a three point game. So like, the, it was like twenty eight to like. Uh, it, it was you know three points in between. The Seahawks were ahead. I can't remember the exact score, but. Right. The then the stinking so you're like oh man the Patriots could p- pull it back but then the Seahawks they, oh and they scored this within like the last three minutes so then the Seahawks had two minutes to oh wait 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 no no they scored that earlier in the fourth quarter then they went down and scored another one in the three minutes I believe and they were ahead by the three points wait 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 wait, 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 wait. I think this is right. Yeah, they were ahead by the three points, and the Seahawks had to drive down in the last... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were ahead by the three points. The Seahawks had two minutes to drive down and score, and they would have won. Mm-hmm. They... Oh, my gosh. That, the first play was... It, it might not have been the first play, but one of the first plays, they throw this insanely long catch, and they go, like... They go, like, halfway down the field in one, in one play, and then they do it again, and then they're at the sinking, like, one-yard line or something ridiculous. And... What was insane was that I didn't think that they were going to make it because it wasn't two plays. It was, like, the first one and then, like, a couple of missed throws. Right. And then he made it, but he lobbed it up there. So I thought it was over. And what it really was was I thought it was over because the guy went down, he tapped the ball, and as he was on the ground, the ball was juggling and he caught it and brought it in. Like – Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That was insane. That oh, was my gosh. totally the best yeah. thing I've ever seen in that, football. I, I honestly, I think. had never seen that. Like when he caught it while he was on the ground, mm-hmm. I had never seen. I was that. impressed. I was that seriously was so, impressed. That was so they were doing so good. Yeah. And if they just ran it in, yeah, and got the touchdown, they'd be like, it would have been over. Laughing. Yeah, they'd just were, be laughing. There were oh. So going happened. home with three so girlfriends <laughs> and cigars. And, I don't cigars know. <laughs> everywhere. I love I how know. that's your animation for three girlfriends and cigars. <laughs> like, you're walking down the street and you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, I just won the Super Bowl. But, uh, uh, and then three more girls come over and they're like, oh, you just won the Super Bowl. No. Yeah, um, Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm black. Wait, that's racist. <laughs> but... Um, then they basically at like one yard away instead of oh, oh my gosh I read a tweet earlier that said this this that play that play call will probably go will go down in NFL oh, yeah. history as one of the worst plays of all time and um they they had like legitimately one or two yards and their their running back um I think his name is like Marshall Lynch I know his last name is Lynch but first name something like that but um they he had been doing really well all game. He he had been tearing up New England's defense. So they but they didn't give it to him with like two yards left. They passed it into an end zone full of New England Patriots. Why would you do that? And and I mean like this the one guy basically there was one guy that just zoned it on Brady and saw it and went for it and grabbed it and intercepted yep. it and it was over. But um Dude, I, I thought that was it. I was like, man, they're two yards away. This is it. This is it. And I was like, yeah, because I was going for the Seahawks. Screw the Patriots. 
screw Tom Brady and his freaking however yeah, many seriously. Super Bowl wins now. But um, I'm I'm a Colts fan. That's why. But <laughs> then they come out with a pass, and I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Man? What are you doing? I made that. But um, yeah, so that was that was just really depressing. Bad. Really bad. And why? Why did they pet? Yeah, seriously. They... I mean, all he needed to do was to run like six feet. Yeah, and they had like what through another three chances. Yeah, to run it. yeah, it was first down, so they had like technically they had four chances. Well, Look, no, three because on the fourth. I'm not even like at pro football. I knew that. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, as Jimmy Valdez would say, but um, yeah, I, 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 I don't, I don't know what's up. They really, really, really should have done something there that wasn't what they did. But they did it, and they lost the game. Yeah, the the mental game, you know. Dude, do you remember that the back in game. back in uh, elementary school when they're like, uh, when somebody would be like, "I lost the game," and they're like, "Oh, oh no, gosh, I no, lost the game that too." <laughs> this is horrible. Horrible. It was stupid. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I I don't know what else to say. They lost. I'm really sad. Yeah, that was. But okay, we can talk about Katy Perry. <laughs> oh my gosh, Katy Perry was. She that did show amazing. Was, that show I was, was surprised. I thought it was just gonna be. I don't. Uh... I don't like Katy Perry. I mean, what? her songs are catchy, and I yeah, like exactly. feel bad for realizing that they're catchy. I don't personally like the songs, but they'll get stuck in my head a lot. They'll get stuck in my head. But, I, I mean, like, personally, I'm not a fan of Katy Perry. Like, uh-huh. I don't like pop music most of the time at all. You so, right, but Katy Perry is... So hey. they started playing these thinking... They, she started doing all these songs, and I'm like, this is, so, this is so weird. Well, first of all, she rode out on a freaking mechanical lion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit, this show itself was really impressive. It was really well done. It was know. impressive as to how much they did, but it was it was weird as crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so freaking weird, dude. I was Andrew Andrew in the group chat was like, imagine if you were high watching this. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I'm high watching this right now. <laughs> okay, she comes out on a mechanical lion. Also, in between it every starts. song, somehow she Chain. How did she do that? Wait, the first one she just stripped off. The second one yeah. probably just got thrown on onto her. Yeah, she was like changing outfits like every song. It was that was that yeah. was pretty legit. Was, um, yeah. Then so yeah, the second one she was like doing the uh, what's the song that she did that goes along with the show? Uh, California Girls. Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. And they, she was in like a beach outfit, and there were. <laughs> There were beach balls dancing, yeah. and there were sharks that were Can't dancing and singing, ball. and it was freaking trippy. And then she later, she freaking flew out in the sky on a firework, and I'm <laughs> like, what is going on? But it was, it was entertaining to watch. <laughs> That's something. Yeah, it was very entertaining and really well done. And as a fan of her, yeah, I, it was awesome. <laughs> I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't believe what was happening. I was like, this is so weird. <laughs> this is happening. Dude, uh, Reddit, like, got on it instantly. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know or whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't fully the get pictures that reference. Are real. Not gonna. No, it, it's literally, it's, it's not a reference to anything. It's just informational thing. Oh. The more you know. But uh-huh. it, they, it looks familiar to the uh, meme. So, like, oh, hey, it looks like this meme. Oh, okay. So we're going well, I guess, like, but... I guess I'm not familiar with the meme, then. Dude, I am wrecking these fools stealthily right now. <laughs> I'm like going from bush to bush. These fools. Taking care of business. Take a by your love. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, what have we been playing lately? What have you been playing lately? Starbound. So, Eric has been playing Starbound. Non-stop. And... I bet you money you have at least 25 hours on that game. At least. Uh, let me check. 134. A lot of that is because I opened a server, but I'm going to give it a good uh, over 100 hours. I knew, I knew, I knew I've it was played it. I've played it, it a it lot in the past, too. So, I mean, I have a lot of hours. I in knew this. it. <laughs> I, I just didn't. Oh, man. Well, there's the proof. There's the proof. I didn't know for sure, but I, I guess. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just, I, I don't want to, 
I don't want to try that game, but I'm eventually going to have to. Um. Oh man, your your the Skype buttons are there. Go away, Skype buttons. Uh, uh, Skype ah! button. No, go away. <laughs> they're invading. No, no. <laughs> they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Eric's been playing Starbound and of course Destiny because we always have yeah. to do our weekly stuff. Um. Anything I've been else? Playing uh, Life as well. Doing life. The homework. Oh yeah, that's a, that's that's a rough game, dude. It's a yeah. rough game. Oh, like game the, the game of life. Did you choose to go to college or did you skip college? Yeah. Did you get married? <clears throat> did you? <laughs> dude, that was that was one of my favorite board games, to be honest. Yeah. Dude, you know what was my favorite board game that barely anyone ever talks about? Do you remember the board game Sorry? Yeah. Dude, that was a legit board game. You no, know, I played that recently. Because it, really? And it was very uneventful <laughs> yeah it's very uneventful but that's it it's so it's simple. so chill it's and simple, simple. and it like, doesn't last forever I played, it, I played with my sister like i don't know a few weeks ago <laughs> and we, we were just sitting there on a coffee table and literally yeah. i just won yeah and it's rng based yeah so... i mean most board games are rng based yeah. it's pretty boring but i i really just remember actually liking it because it was so yesterday short. I went to Gabby's and we we had Jared and Chandler there. Oh, so so yeah. Did a bunch of stuff there. So yeah, I, Eric. You played that. you played Dungeons and Dragons that I've been wanting to play forever. So it's I wanted not, and you no. said you were like, I don't want to play it. It's, it's seems called boring. Dungeon. Oh. But it's in the franchise of Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, is it? It's not a like it's a, a dungeon game, but it's not Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, okay. It's a board game, oh. and pretty much what you do, you you choose your character. You can be a rogue, fighter. Did you like get um, to make up your character, or was it by like presets? It, uh, you had classes. There's was like, it? Did you just choose your class though, type of thing? Was yeah, you it choose like, your you class, chose male or female, or and then each class has a different ability. Um, the wizards get power cards that can pretty much insta kill everything, and uh, but it's also harder to roll the dice for the uh, damage you need. Um, mm. So pretty much you go, th the, the, the goal of the game is to get the correct amount of um, money or uh, loot. So yeah. since I'm a wizard, I have like one hits, and but it's still harder for me. So it's kind of, it's balanced. But like, since I have w like one hit kills, I have, I have to get 30,000 gold. Well, like the rogue only needs ten thousand, but has mm. less, has has still has a less of a, uh, well has a more ch chance to stay alive. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds similar to the fighter is like a medium. So like if you get if you roll above a six, you're good. Mm. It's kind of like it's like that. Thing. Man, I really, 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 really wish I figured out how to organize a D and D game online. But holy crap, is it a lot Very of work? In depth. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's a, lot, a of lot of work for like which I would be the dungeon master, and for the dungeon master that is a lot of freaking work. Like you have to, if you do it online, you have to basically create every scene and every yep. single thing. And I'm like, and all the preset, like you know, I don't know. Say I want to go to a forest. All the forest pages that are on that website are crap. They don't look good. They they look like really really dumb. It's it's just like dark green <laughs> colors and that's hmm. it for the forest i can show you this afterwards but i really if i if i found good freaking i don't know places and i could actually do it then i would but it it takes a lot and it would take a lot to find all the good things so, yeah i'm i really do want to though it'll take a while but i'm gonna get there and i'm gonna do it it's gonna be yeah. good one day but it'll be good oh yeah but uh Let's see. I have been playing Destiny, of course. We have one more vault, which we're probably going to do after this. And then I'll have everything for the week. Um... Oh, also, don't do it yet, but we should talk about our loot drops in Destiny. What we got this week, which I want to point out. Oh. I have... Actually, I'll point it out after I'm done talking about what I've been playing. I'll point out about my loot. Um, I've also been playing Guacamelee on hard slowly because that game is stressful when you play it on hard, but <laughs> I want that platinum one day. That's one of those games that I'm slowly chipping away at. 
Um, dude, that game is so stressful. It's not even that hard. It's just like, uh, it's, it's I, tough. I beat the things after like, if it's hard, I beat it after like the first three tries, but it, but normally I'll beat it, you know, one shot, but yeah, I'll beat it one shot really close. So it, I'm always like, oh, don't die, don't die. And I'm, like, <laughs> freaking dodging and, like, I, I'll do okay, but I'm trying really hard to do okay. It, it's stressful, but I'll I'll get through it. I wish I could have played through hard the first time so I wouldn't have to jump straight back in on hard. I had to go through on normal since it was my first playthrough, but yeah, that's a bummer. Because also I feel like when I'm playing, I feel like it's like I go to this room and I'm like, weren't I just here? That's because I was, like, two days ago. <laughs> I was just here going through the same thing. So I, I end up having to stop. But yeah. I've been, I've been slowly going through that. Um, AC4 every now and then, just for fun. Um, that's technically all I played in the last week. I, I really want to play Heroes of the Storm tomorrow. I want to play some more of that. I want to play some more of that. I really like it. I just need to play more. Yeah, it's, all, it's awesome. I really want... <laughs> I want to get Ryan a PC and then get hardcore into Smite. That's what yeah. I want to do. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of sad that um, Smite isn't coming to PS4. Oh man, it technically can. Like, it's not it's, exclusive, is it? It's it's yeah, a, limited. It's a timed exclusive, yeah. So they yeah. said that, but they didn't confirm anything about it coming. But they didn't say it wouldn't. Like they okay. just said that they're focusing on Xbox and maybe later PS4. That's basically what has been said it's really a bummer because i he would love smite because he didn't like league because it there's a there's a big learning yeah gap. it's a big I learning can see gap why for, you can't, you don't and like he league. might like league now but back then when i showed him league all he played was call of duty like that was it i am very proud of ryan he is playing new yeah. games it makes me very happy but, um, yeah, he plays Destiny now, he's playing GTA. He bought Resident Evil, the remake, on the store the other really? day. Really? Yeah, he was like, have you heard of uh, Resident Evil? Is it any good? And I gave him, like, the whole, you know, it's it's an old series. That's the remake. Apparently people really like the remake on it, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, I've heard the remake is, like, 10 out of 10. Mate. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. and it's a survival horror game, which is Ryan's thing. Or at least with movies, uh, he's never done it with a game. It's actually action because I mean you can. Actually it's an fight. action horror game. It it says survive the defining game of the survival horror genre. Okay, <laughs> like on yeah. the thing, but I mean, it's also action as well. So uh, I'm guessing freaking uh, Last of Us was survival as well. Yeah, Last of Us is part survival, but it's it's definitely not. I don't, I, I don't know. I like I define survival as like where. Oh, Last of Us is survival. It's part horror. Yeah, but it's oh, it's hardcore survival. You barely have any ammo and whatnot, especially if you try and play on like a grounded difficulty. Yeah. Oh man, I am not doing that ever. No for you. Never doing that, dude. <laughs> I bet there's like I bet you literally they plan it so that you have like not even enough shots for like like say you enter a room with four um, clickers. I bet they plan it so that you have two shots type of thing, or maybe yeah. even one. And then you gotta deal with the rest in crew. They like ways. methodically <laughs> plan out the ammo in certain oh, spots. Man. Gosh, that would be rough. That'd be so rough. But yeah. um what was I even going with before I got sidetracked on Ryan? I don't know. I've been playing a lot of stuff. Destiny, A C four. Um I oh yeah, sm smite, that's what I was saying. He he didn't like League because yeah. he was into Call of Duty. But nowadays he, he likes to try different games, but he's really competitive. So, like, Smite being a competitive MOBA type of thing with the action-based combat, he would really like yeah, that. Yeah, I think he would like it. He would really like that. And I really like it, but I I don't know. I can't play with too many people, you know? Like, I, that's many why people. I like <laughs> too many people. <laughs> but, dude, I went into Zaxby's today. Yeah, I went into Zaxby's today, and there were yeah. freaking way too many people. It definitely ru ruined the broth. But oh no, no, don't ruin the broth. But yeah, it needs to it needs to come to console. I like playing things on console because there are more people that I can play it with usually. Yeah, usually. But um, that's all I've been playing. Yeah, 
Uh, we've been watching The Flash, Doctor... Or, wait, yeah. no, not Doctor Who. What am I saying? Arrow and <laughs> The 100. And yeah. Walking Dead will be back in a bit. In like a, and we started watching the show. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric's yeah. watching Death Note. Um, I'm and done with still... it. Wait, you finished it? What? Yeah, I told you. That's what I... When I sent a message to you earlier that was like, boom, I'm done. Let me know when oh. you're done. <laughs> that was about Death Note. I thought you had finished it. I did. Or, I mean, I thought you had... We're on, like, episode 30. I was 30, on 34. So. And I had, like, two oh. hours until the Super Bowl, so I just watched the rest. Because I'm like, Eric is not going to beat me on a show that I watched a month... That I started okay. a month ago. So I was like, ha! <laughs> I went and I finished I, I watched 25 or 24 episodes in a matter of... Freaking... That, that's why I went and did it. Because <laughs> I was like, if, he's, if he keeps going at that rate... He's going to beat me in, like, a couple hours, so I'm going to finish. <laughs> so I went and I finished. Well, I, I watched him at night. Uh, so. Yeah, that's not a good idea for that show. Because no. <laughs> you're like, oh, my gosh, a cliffhanger. Time to press next. Yeah, that, and the, that show's a little freaking a little freaking weird and creepy and, like, the tone and whatnot. I don't know, dude. Oh, and the freaking – what what's freaking weird to me is that – they barely ever change the music in that show. It is constantly the same music. I don't notice that, but... It is just the... Do, do, <laughs> the do, intro do, music. Do, 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 do. Oh, dude, the intro music's awesome. Just wait yeah. until they change it. They, they changed they it. Change it. Oh, they changed it? It's freaking crap now, isn't it? Uh, it's freaking yeah. bad, dude. It's horrible. The second opening is bad. I have to, like, skip it the first to one prevent was myself meh. from barfing. Yeah. The first one was really good. I like the first one. Second one is like some freaking. It's like attempting to be screamo, but it's screamo mixed with like freaking. Bad screamo. Just mashing garbage cans together and just. Yeah. Literally, at one point at the end of the opening, it's like. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah. Oh, it really it's is. Gross. I, I, I was listening. I was like, what? what what's yeah, going on here? I. I I liked the oh. intro itself, but the music was in eh. Oh, the music's horrible. I, I literally skip it to prevent myself from puking all over the monitor. <laughs> Maybe that's a little extreme, but uh, <laughs> it's bad. I can agree with you there, but... Yeah, it's bad. But, um, Death Note, um... Flash, Arrow, 100. Flash. Uh, the 100 is intense, as usual. 100 so uh, yeah. Arrow... Freaking, oh, yeah, Arrow is Freaking, bad. uh... Arrow was bad this week. Arrow was bad. Arrow was bad this week. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get into that. Arrow is bad this week. Um, they can easily fix it, though. So it's, oh, not, yeah. it's not too hard. And I haven't, like, that. I told Eric it was, like, the worst episode since I don't even know when. So, like, it's not going to happen again. <laughs> like, that. that's a very rare thing, I would assume. Um... So Destiny loot drops, mate. What did? Actually, um, you, you know what? Let's save this until the I end. I got red. No. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's save this until the end to, you know, little cliffhanger there. We need to. We need to get through our topics that I actually have. I actually have some things to talk about other than just what we've been playing. So big news: PlayStation partners with Spotify. So all you non-PC gaming people can, that play your console can just listen to Spotify while you play music. Dude, you know what would be really cool? Um, a goat riding a donkey. Yes. But <laughs> what if, um, if like when you have, when you're subscribed to PlayStation Plus, that you would be able to... Get like some sort of benefits. Yeah, like half off premium or something. Something like that, yeah. yeah or maybe cool. the ability to do some sort of feature. I don't know. Um, dude, it that says cool. well that would end up you know, Spotify is only a music service. If you put a feature behind a paywall that would end up limiting other people, you know? Yeah. Like for basic music functions. But it says I was a little worried because I thought that it was only going to be the premium version. Um, the way they, like, formatted the words in the article. Yeah. Um, but then I scroll down, and the guy, I think it's the guy who wrote the article. Yeah, the guy who wrote the article, Eric Lempel on PlayStation Blog, 
said, <laughs> somebody know. asked, um, will those of us who don't have a Spotify subscription still be able to listen to music without with ads? Yes, both versions of Spotify free and premium will be available when we launch on PlayStation Music. When we launch Spotify on PlayStation Music. So that's freaking awesome. Like, so I'm seriously there'll be excited ads, of for course. People. Yeah, but I, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Free music. It's not big freaking... Dude, I'm, I'm so happy for people. Like, I literally, you know, let me... Yeah, I have this. This is console. This is PC. This is headset. So I can hear both at the same time. So I can listen to music, and I do listen to music. But, like, yeah. Ryan and Andrew and I guess Eric, because he doesn't... You could do this, but your wire is, like, messy, so it, like, sounds dumb. Yeah. So, you know, people that can't really do that can freaking just listen to music. That's so that's so cool, dude. You can listen to any song for free because yeah. Spotify is the best music service. Case it really is. <laughs> Other than the fact that Taylor Swift is in there, sadly. Yeah, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, why you got to pull out on us? If you, if you, if you know him. No. Uh, doesn't make sense. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. There was a PlayStation event revealed for New York in February. So basically PlayStation was just like, yo, we're having an event in New York in February. So I don't know. That, that kind of intrigues me is that they're going to announce some sort of PS4 Slim, something like that. Because the last time they had an event was when they announced the PS4. So it's got to be something big yeah. for them to just have an, uh, an event. I don't know. It's probably a PS4 Slim or maybe a new Vita? Probably not that. But Dude, it's most likely just going to be on the PS4 Slim. What if they just like, went full-on ballsy with the, the Vita and like Bundle it made in with it every into PS4. a freaking controller Dude, with a screen? I would love that. I would love that. I, you know I seriously amazing? have always I said... Would... That if you take this DualShock 4 here and, and just, just split it like that mm -hmm. and just put a screen here, I'd be happy. Basically yeah. like the Wii U gamepad, but not as big of a screen. Yep. And more ergonomic. But then it, but then it becomes less of a handheld and more of like a uh, tablet type of thing where it's, you know. You use I don't even care. I mean, it's pretty much a tablet anyway I mean, with I a screen. I don't care either, but that's that's the thing like a vita it's big but you can still fit it in your pocket and you can still yeah. go places with it and pull it out while you're waiting in a line or whatnot. true but if you if you had this it would have to be like for travels and for being in a hotel or something. true which is fine but i i don't think they would ever do something like that. maybe they the could vita, have like two different versions like kind of like a souped up I version mean, i would love that but the vita has <laughs> failed in sales when it comes to sales the vita's failed hardcore so like oh, yeah. they're they're not going to – it's not going to be a PS Vita successor. And there were rumors and pictures floating around the internet, like, I guess early last week, of a PS4 Slim. So it's most likely just going to be that. Maybe it'll be cheaper. That'd be nice. Oh, also, yeah. it'll probably be – you know, they announced that they were bundling in The Last of Us Remastered with every PS4. Huh. So maybe it'll be that. It'll be the PS4 Slim with that. Yeah, they're they're bundling it in with every. What's the PS4 Slim even going to entail? Like a smaller just hard drive? Smaller. No, or like is it just, just tiny? it being smaller, just the PS4 itself being smaller. I don't know why anyone would care, but I don't know. It's usually just so that like they're slowly improving on their design, so that like a yeah. future in years later, like like the PS3 that I have now is way different than the original PS3. You know. Yeah, the original one had like PS2. Yeah. Compatibility. Yeah, dude. And uh mine doesn't. It looked it was very uh what was it? Shiny. Oh, I could find a picture. It was shiny. Original PS3. Oh man. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it was shiny. It was just, Oh yeah. Yeah, and it was 600 bucks. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, that. that was a horrible. That was a horrible thing. Was Ugh, horrible. That man. that's what people equivalent uh, Talk about as Sony's like biggest failure, as it being three hundred, six hundred bucks. This is it. I remember it's seeing on that. Eric's screen. I can't really make it bigger, but it's whatever. It's yeah, this is uh, this is shiny, and this is what it's way smaller. Like I thought my PS3 was pretty fat, fat, and it's still just way smaller. That giant thing is ridiculous. 
But oh my gosh, <laughs> you're just like you're literally the picture was covering, so all you saw yeah. were your hands. But um, <laughs> yeah. So eventually, you know, maybe a kid that a parent that is buying their kid a PS4 this Christmas is gonna get the slim. That's yeah. that's how it's gonna be. It would be good for, I guess, keeping stuff. Um, like space. Yeah, so if you're really cramped, if you want more consoles or something on your on your shelf, yeah. I don't know. It's just better design in general, I guess. Yeah, just slowly improving on it. Because I mean, the first design of the PS3 was all right, but I mean, I guess it's Dude, an improvement. I love my PS4. Like, I love the way it looks. I guess. Yeah, it's great. But I mean, if they made a PS4 that was smaller and basically the same thing, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'd probably prefer that. I wouldn't get it ever because I don't care what my console looks like because I just play games on it. But yeah. you know, like that. Technically, that is an improvement, and you know, that's. Good for the new kids. Good for the new kids on the block. Good, Good for, for them. New kids. new kids on the block. I don't know why, but that reminds me of the movie Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Sandlot was a freaking great movie. They had a sequel, and that, that was bad. But <laughs> there are some pretty stinking awesome PlayStation games coming to your store in February for free. Uh, with, well, along yeah, with a um, new car. <laughs> Let's see. Transistor, I'm... freaking transistor, dude. Okay, I'm. I'm, I'm not happy about that. The, uh, blog post. You know what transistor is, by the way? Of course, I know what transistor is. Are you sure? Is... Yes. Are you sure? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Transistor is going to be free for PS4 for all PlayStation Plus members, which is was a Game of the Year nominee, and it's an indie. It's made by the people who made Bastion. It's Looks really free. awesome. Um, free. Yeah, it's free. I, I was tempted to buy that during the Flash sale, but I got Guacamelee instead. I've been tempted to buy Transistor many times. Now it's free. Um, Apotheon is a PS4 game that's coming out. It says, The gods of Olympus have abandoned humanity, leaving you to perish without their benevolence. Take up arms against the gods, climb Mount Olympus, and take their divine powers for yourself to ensure mankind's survival. So, looks like a little 2D limbo type thing from the picture. Um, then you have Yakuza 4 on PS3. You have to say it like an angry Japanese person. <laughs> um, Yakuza 4 lets you explore the city of Tokyo, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure what that is. It seems like some sort of single player thing. Um, yeah. And then Thief for PS3, which is kind of cool. Oh, dude. Okay, I know it got like horrible reviews, but that's such a, like a it's... quality game for free. Yeah. Yeah, and in my no, I'll, I'll say this one first and leave the best for last. Kick and Finnick is a PS Vita game. It looks like some sort of mobile type game, so don't don't look uh, too into that one. But you never know, maybe it's a hidden gem and it's awesome. But uh, I don't know. It looks like try it out if you get yourself a Vita. Um, yeah. I'll I'll try it and see what it what it's about. But then. Saving the best for last, we have Rogue Legacy on the PS Vita, PS4, and PS3. Seriously, holy crap. When this comes out, whatever you have, any of those three systems, go download that game. Yep. That game is awesome. That That is that is one of my favorite games of 2014, without a doubt. It's really, 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 really fun. Really addicting and really good. <laughs> so download that. Play it. It's awesome. Yeah. Seriously, download all of these. These are all really, really, really good. Download all the things. I'm I'm very excited. This is on Tuesday, so the day after the podcast, you can uh, go download those. Have fun. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Oh, dude, this is something that I really wanted to discuss with you because I thought you might have a an opinion because oh. I kind of had a, an opinion. So, you know Blizzard's new shooter, Overwatch? Yes. Yeah, Blizzard, well, for people that don't know, Blizzard has a new shooter that they announced at BlizzCon called Overwatch. Um, it's not like Heroes of the Storm where it's like an all-star cast, right? It's like they made up a cast specifically for Overwatch, if I remember correctly. Hmm. I think they have specific new characters and whatnot. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So there's like a bunch of different characters. They have like all these unique things, but it's basically like a competitive arena shooter. Which, FPS, which is really awesome from Blizzard. 
from Blizzard. Yeah, which that's actually really weird. I'm so excited really for that, dude. See that stuff. Like I'm that. so excited. Like, whenever Blizzard announces new stuff and there's like a beta sign up, I go and do it immediately. <laughs> like, here's the right. storm. As soon as I heard MOBA by Blizzard, I was like, can I sign up? And I went and I did it. And that's why I got in the alpha so early. But, um, yeah, so they. For Overwatch, it, Blizzard is still in the process of deciding the business model for Overwatch. Hmm. So they're still in the process of deciding whether they want to be free to play, whether they want to do some sort of subscription thing, which they probably won't, or just a base price and that's it. So what would you like for this game? Because I don't really... I know. saw the gameplay. Yeah, I saw some gameplay too. It's awesome. And it's f pretty... Darn cool with all the yeah, all the abilities, abilities make it really like in depth. Like people are really are... ragging on it because of its uh, Team Fortress Two esque gameplay. That's a that's I don't a even plus know why that's a thing. It's a plus, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, there's like there's a lot of different characters. There's like at least ten or something. So like oh, yeah. ten different characters at at least with like all they each have like two or three maybe even like special abilities so you can like think about <laughs> there's gonna be like a meta in a shooter which is really cool which yeah. usually is a meta in a shooter but this is gonna be of course a more complicated meta because it's blizzard let's just make everything as complicated as crap <laughs> but um which yeah. i'm fine with this is in this case i'm very fine with it in this case this this is gonna be really interesting but what what do you think they should do for the business model i i think kind of think I know what I want them to do for me. Um, well, they could do something like, um, I don't know. I was thinking kind of like, uh, freaking Hearthstone. Yeah, well, dude, okay. I've said this many times. I don't like, I think League of Legends has the perfect oh, yeah. free-to-play system. Skins so, and buying. I don't even like Hearthstone's system. Yeah. Like, if you want to be really competitive, you can either spend like a hundred, a hundred and fifty bucks, or you can just play for months and then get it. Like, right. it's it takes a while to get uh, to get to where you have all the cards that people use in the meta in Hearthstone. Um, right. Grunt has spent many dollars on Hearthstone just because he, I assume, probably because he wants to be competitive and he wants to have the better cards. And if you spend money, you can get the better cards. So I don't, I don't really like that. But like, if I think Overwatch should be free to play, I don't think a a subscription would work. I don't oh, think no. a stinking a stinking base price would work. Where it's like, I don't know, say fifth forty bucks, and that's it. I don't think that would work because I feel like with Blizzard, they're gonna be constantly adding and changing and whatnot. Um, I really, right. I, I don't know. I think they should just do a free to play thing. Free to play is awesome on PC, and if they do it right, I will give them my money. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do do free to play. Make all the cosmetic stuff cost all money. Monies. And yeah, I will. I will play it. And if I really like your game, I'll buy probably the a lot of the cosmetic stuff for like the character that I really like. You know. Right. I I don't know. I agree. I think that's the way to go for Overwatch. But then again, it's Blizzard. Maybe they'll come out with some really freaking revolutionary business model. <laughs> Maybe that's right. what they're trying to decide. I couldn't even think what that would be, but them folks over at Blizzard, man, they're super talented. By the they way, really in this gameplay here, for people who are watching, I was trying to figure out how to throw the smoke bomb because I forgot... And I came to the conclusion that I'm not sure if you can in four. <laughs> I think you can just drop it, which isn't correct. You can throw it, but I could not for the life of me figure it out. I tried every single stinking button, and I Googled it, and I couldn't figure it out. Like right now, really? I'm in the pause screen because I'm Googling. <laughs> <laughs> so I, and I kept like tossing them at my feet because I thought maybe if I hold triangle instead – and I tossed it at my feet, and guards started coming at me. Like, after I leave this pause, I'm going to, like, go and try and start a mission, and then guards are going to come at me. Wow. Yeah, I still don't know how to throw a smoke bomb in AC4, even though it's, like, a two-year-old game. 
I, I need to figure that out. I need to figure that out really badly. But I don't know how. I, I Googled it, and one of the things was uh, how to do it on PC, and I'm like, this doesn't help me. <laughs> I don't know the controls here. Right. Um, so, yeah, Overwatch. Make it free to play. That's what I would say. That's what yeah. I would say. Yeah, I, I really can't think of anything else that would work. I don't know. I just make it free to play. Do that, Blizzard. You, you can trust us. Believe. And you can do anything. Just follow your dreams. Uh, okay, I'm done with that. Um, <laughs> I'm done with being creepy and, like, really supportive and Disney-y at the same time. So, let's see. I wanted to talk about games that are actually coming up really soon. This is the main reason why I put upcoming games on the Google document. There are actually games that are big that are coming up really soon so be on the lookout for bloodborne which is going to be on march march 24th unless they push it back gta 5 on pc will be out pretty soon um let me look this up oh wow really gta 5 on pc is the same day as bloodborne so have fun oh. getting both of those uh, march 24th uh, what was the other one that's... Ooh, hoo -hoo. I think this is the last of all the uh, recent ones. The Order 1886, February 20th. Be on the lookout for that. That will be in... One, two, three... That'll be in three weeks, but it's on a Friday. Oh, that's weird, dude. That's weird. Are they going to update the store on Friday? Or are they going to... Oh, oh just, it's probably just... Set for it. Yeah, they're probably just going to have a set date type of thing where it just clicks into place like any sort of uh, game that comes out. But that's weird. Huh. Most games come out on Tuesday. But um, most big games... Oh, man. Now I'm, now I'm tailing people. I have, <laughs> uh, I have you know, the, uh, the prostitutes <laughs> using yeah. them as cover right now. But, um, which is weird, because in this game, when you use the prostitutes in co as cover, or the mercenaries or whatever, and they turn, like, gray. It turns to, like, a black and white scheme. So they all look, like, really, really dead. They look like death right now. They, they look like a Shinigami. Oh my gosh. They look like Shinigami. Um, let's see. What else? Um, Destiny. There's nothing big going on in Destiny are going to come up soon. Got the Crota right. Hard mode. We got the strategy. We got it down. Still don't have the bridge down. We still suck at the bridge, so we end up cheesing it every time. <laughs> the Abyss, we always clutch. We never do it, like, well. Somebody always just self reses in the last two seconds and runs across. Um, Iron Banner, I bet, will be soon. I bet Iron Banner will be mid-February. Yeah. 15th. I should try Around playing there. Yeah, uh, I want to try Iron Banner I, next time. Normally, I just ignore it. But I... Hmm, I don't know. If by the time the Iron Banner comes out, and I still don't have, like, a piece that I need to be 32, and they have that piece, I'm going to freaking grind Iron Banner. I don't even care. Yeah. I don't even care. I'm going to do that. I need a chest piece or a helmet on my Hunter and my Warlock. So all I need on my Hunter and my Warlock was one piece, and it could have been one of two pieces, and I would have been 32, and I got none of those none. on either. So I'm still waiting. Um, so Destiny loot drops this week, dude. I'm just going to let you end with your loot drops because mine, I'm thinking, I was thinking about this yesterday. Mine freaking sucked. I didn't get yeah. anything. Other than the Fate Bringer from Vault of Glass the other night. Yeah. I didn't yeah. get one exotic. I didn't get one raid piece I needed. I didn't get one exotic from all of my stuff this week, which I only have one more vault. Maybe I'll get a Galahorn tonight. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't get one. I, I got nothing. I got all crap that I already had. Or I, No, I didn't even think I got an exotic that I could have sharded. Oh, yeah. 12 legendary weapons in a row. So it's been mm. going for a month now in Nightfalls. I haven't gotten one exotic for a month on all three of my characters in Nightfall. <laughs> so that's great. Um, 
We got the Fate Bringer. Oh well, this is cool. Last was it last night? Or yeah, you got the Praetorian before? Foil and the Fate Bringer. Yeah, yeah. I completed my Vault Which of Glass. Which you were very happy this. about. Yes, I made a really weird sound, <laughs> but uh, I was very happy because I had been really looking for those for a long time, long time. Um, so I have now gotten everything from the Vault of Glass. Which makes me really, really happy. Um, I still have a ways to go on Crota. I still need Fang of Your Ute, Abyss Defiant, Word of Crota, Crux of Crota, Light of the Abyss. Maybe that's it. I think I'm missing one, but that might be it. Mm. So yeah, I need. I got the ship on Crota. That's something. Yeah, that's it. You, you go, go ahead and explain what you got, cause you're, you had a better week than me. In uh. In terms of hard mode? In terms of all your loot drops, mate. Oh, I got Red Death, Soros. Um, Gosh dang it. You say that so casually. <laughs> Let's get two exotic weapons. I was happy I got both of them because I, I didn't need them <laughs> really badly. NPD. Um, I still haven't gotten word, which I'm kind of sad about. But I can't complain. No, you can't. You have every other primary. <laughs> yep. Gosh dang I have every other primary besides Word of Crota. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. And Necrochasm, if that counts. <laughs> yeah, Necrochasm does Which count. Which we're not going to count. No, I'm just kidding. No, we're, yeah. Necrochasm. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to toss yeah. it out. Never again. Necrochasm sucks. Yeah, Necrochasm's really, really bad. But don't stop getting it. Don't stop, like, going for it. Because they're going to buff it. They're going to buff yeah, they it will hardcore. Buff um, they're probably going to... I bet you money, that if Bungie is Bungie, they're probably going to do the thing where they buff it... Like, with the Mythic class, they, it was really, really strong, so they nerfed it, and they nerfed it too hard, so they brought it back up to where it is now. So, if they follow that pattern, where now the Necrochasm is really bad, they're going to nerf it to be really, really good for, like, a solid week or two, and then they're going to bring it to normal. So, be on the lookout. You want to have that gun for that week. <laughs> that yeah. week, you want to be wrecking everyone. That's just uh, my prediction. I can see into the future. Looks like. But, uh, yeah. Eric got... A lot what, of stuff. Anything else? Uh, nothing of importance. Any, uh, any raid pieces you need? Any? Uh, I got boots on my warlock, which is actually something I needed. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Can your warlock be 32 now? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that that's that's kind of a huge thing. Right? Yes, my Willow can be 32, which is amazing. Yeah. That's pretty stinking legit. And then all I need to be to get my uh, Hunter to 32 is um, chest piece. Yeah. So I'm almost there. Yeah, almost there. Almost there. Oh, Pro dude. status. Yeah. I'm going to end with this story. We're getting close to an hour, but we're not in an hour. We're, okay. we're, we're good. We uh, we covered everything we wanted to. Everyone freaking download those free games for February. Seriously. Yes. Seriously, get on that crap. Be sure to do your dailies and all that, Um, your weeklies. Um, I'm going to end with this story, your random artifact, your random relic, as they call it, in Salvage, in Destiny. And then we're going to get the poop out of here. <laughs> so we're going to run our vault, and we're all gonna get gal horns yep, so totally. the other night let was it saturday saturday night which was last night for when we we're recording this i was really 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 craving to play like something different like something on pc maybe something weird where i could just jump on and play co-op with friends or competitive with friends and something that i don't normally do eric was over at gabby's house which means gabby and jared and yeah. chandler were all you know, occupied. I couldn't play with any of them. And then, so, like, most of my PC friends were gone. I would play with you, Nate, if you're watching, but yeah. you, you don't, you don't like, you know, play anything with us or talk to us, ever. Ever. No, you, you talk to us. But, um, yeah. Uh, so I got on, I got on with Ryan and I just started talking. I was like, maybe we could run a vault. And he was like, I'm not really feeling in the mood for a vault. So I sat there for like five minutes. Like, I really, for some weird reason, just wanted to play something different. And I, and I was like, oh, what do I have? What do I have that me and Ryan can play? I was like, 
I'm gonna play Call of Duty, so I jumped on and played Advanced Warfare for a bit. I was actually <laughs> really fun. I was really? surprisingly fun, yeah. We played the one-shot playlist, then we played Search and Destroy and Wrecked Kids. The one-shot playlist is really kind of really kind of awesome. Like, you got the MORS, and everyone has the MORS. It's really fun. Um, it's so bad. The connection is still really bad. So, like, don't try and play Advanced Warfare and be super competitive if connection yeah. gets you upset. But it was fun to just play for a little bit. And then, you know what me and Ryan jumped on, dude? We jumped on GTA Five online. And we did a bunch of plane races and helicopter races and <laughs> motorcycle races, and it was awesome. I seriously wow. had a lot of fun. That, that That's one thing I've discovered. The way to have fun in GTA Online is just get with a friend and just do a bunch of weird races and crap. And just and you have to be really imaginative. Like, you have to have an imagination to have fun. Like, just make something up. You're like, you see that store? We're going to fly in, parachute out, and steal from it and get out. You know, you got to make something yeah, up. Yeah, I, and then I guess it's super that's the merit awesome. of it. And then it's I had never really awesome. been big into... GTA, but yeah. I can see the merit of it with that all those. That was like my first. Like I jumped in GTA Online when I got the game, thinking, "Oh, how how am I gonna have fun in this?" And I just sort of followed what the game told me, and I'm like, "This isn't that fun. I'm just sort of doing right TDM stuff and running around and whatnot." But when you're with a friend in a controlled environment, just doing whatever you want in Los Santos, it's pretty stinking cool. If you think of really awesome stuff that you can do, um, so that was my first time having fun in GTA Online. I think me and Ryan need to do that some other time and I'll record some videos of it. It's gonna be yeah, fun. that'd be fun to watch. Yeah, I may ha I tried to record some videos, but I did it without testing, so the audio was a bit off, so I deleted it. We can do that again later. Um, so yeah, do your weeklies. Get your exotics. You gotta get the. Mm -hmm. Be sure to grab that dragon's breath. Oh wait, Zura's gone, and dragon's breath isn't that good, so who cares? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Be, for, be sure to grab that Starfire Protocol that he sold for oh, yeah. five weeks in a row or something. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Do you have something random to end us um, out here? Yeah. Um, if you have heartburn, take drugs. Uh, no, 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 don't, it, no, no, don't even explain. Just take drugs, kids. Yes, take drugs. If you have heartburn, <laughs> take, just take drugs. <laughs> just do it. Uh, no, but it's usually don't do drugs, no, 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 but take don't drugs. Do that. Don't... Yeah, that about sums it up. <laughs> that sounds worse. <laughs> that, that about sums it up. Yeah, don't take drugs, but take drugs. <laughs> so, yeah. I <laughs> uh... hope everyone has an awesome week. If you like our podcast, share it with your friends. Barely anybody watches this, but I feel like the people who do watch it for close connection to me and you. you know what I'm saying it's, it's, it's real close. It's real close. Real close. It's, it's pretty creepy. All right, well, <clears throat> that's been all for the Game of Chance Duo podcast. Join us next week when we talk about the rise of pandas in New York City. Mm -hmm.